In gymnastics, I know you have to take everything one step at a time and not get too far ahead of yourself. But now when you look back at not just the last month or the last year, but the entire journey of getting to the games, what's that been like for you? When did you first get the idea in your head that you'd like to go to the Olympics? Um, I've wanted to go to the Olympics for a long time. <laughs> And uh, 2008 I had my sights set, but that didn't work out, so after that um, and after coming back after an elbow injury, that's when I started to reset my sights on the Olympics and going to London, so it was a long journey from there and I had gone and spent a year at Stanford University, which was incredible and had um, I had learned so much there and I'm so grateful for that experience and coming back from that I also had to work back uh, routines and difficulties so um, that was another step towards London and I, it's just incredible looking back um, how far I've come to be here and it's just amazing to be here now. Now you narrowly missed making the team in 2008 uh, and that obviously was a big disappointment but how do you look at it now in, in retrospect that you've had another four years and now you're going not just as an individual but as part of a team? I think this is this round is going to be so much ex more excitement than if it, if I were to have gone in 2008 because of the team um, experience. Um, competing at Stanford that one year, I learned how fun and how exciting it could be competing as a team and working towards the same goal as a group. And if we could experience that same thing at the Olympics, it'll just be like a dream come true to me. But you've come back from American college gymnastics to compete again at the international level, and not a lot of people have managed to do that. Uh, what what is the the, the 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 problem that holds other people back from doing that, making that switch back from NCAA to international level, and and what have you how have you been able to to overcome some of those obstacles? Uh, I think I was really fortunate to have been able to do this because um, I had worked out uh, this whole plan with the Stanford coaches before even accepting to go to Stanford. So. Um, <laughs> It was just the opportunity was there and I was able to take that opportunity and pull through with this so I'm just so happy for that and for other people you know um, I guess they just can't make it back um, or they've already decided that college is what they want to do and they're done with their international career or it's every person's different so I'm just so happy I was able to do this.